Little review of PlayAsia today. Ordered from PlayAsia three weeks ago, plus for my first game, Resident Evil 2, PlayStation 4. It is awesome. So, the game was shipped out shortly after I ordered it. I don't know, two days after I ordered it. Uh, they give you a NL tracking number. That's that RU number there. I just blacked out. And that tracking is pretty good. So it got shipped out of Asia. And I think it went goes to the Netherlands as their kind of their go-to. And then it came to Canada. And once it reached Canada, the tracking number it just wasn't updating anymore. And I was like, fine. It'll be here in a couple days. So Canada Post got a hold of it and put this number on, which appeared to be the tracking number but it's not really good for anything. So here's the deal. When this game came to Canada, it didn't get a tracking number. This is not a tracking number. It's like a DNC number and it's got very limited information. You can't even look it up online. All you can do is give it to the post office and they can pull a tiny bit of information. All the information they gave me, it said transfer to driver. So I got the door knocker at my house on the 11th. I went to pick it up, or sorry, the 14th of November. Went to pick it up the 15th the next day, because it's not ready the day they put the door knocker, and they couldn't find it. So, they said that it went to this post office. However, I go there and it's not there. They sent it back to the shipper, or to the uh, main office and then a, a week later I went back to this post office after phoning them a few times and I asked if the game was there and they said yeah it's it's here so the bottom line is yeah they're good they're cheap but you kind of get what you pay for when it got to my country and it's probably the same if, it, if you order from the states that tracking number didn't work and so I asked them well I asked Canada Post well why didn't I get a tracking number because it had an international tracking number they said because the shipper didn't pay for it. So it's probably an extra buck to get the tracking number in Canada and these guys didn't pay for it. I contacted PlayAsia right away when they asked me to write a review and I told them what was up and they were polite but it was just rhetoric back and forth. Oh, please wait or this, that and the other thing. But the bottom line was I paid 10 bucks for shipping. Why didn't I get a domestic tracking number? I don't know, they wouldn't give me that clear answer. So bottom line is, be prepared to wait probably about a month if you order from the site. Would I order from them again? Yeah, maybe if the deal was good and I wasn't in a rush. Probably not though, I'd probably just get it off eBay and order from the USA or Canada and probably end up spending an extra $5 per game. Anyways, that's my little review of PlayAsia. Um, don't be scared to try them out, just be prepared to wait and request that you get a domestic tracking number when it comes to your country because um, they didn't give me one and it was a huge headache. Partly them to blame, but partly Canada Post because they totally screwed it up too, but if at least I have a tracking, we would have known where it was.